Hello and welcome. This is Angie with TheCountryChicCottage.net. So we're here today with another Cricut Basics video. Today we're going to talk about cutting metal with your Cricut machine. So if you've ever wanted to cut metal with your Cricut, this is definitely the video for you. Didn't know you could cut metal with your Cricut? This video is for you as well. So what type of metal, first of all, can you cut with your Cricut machine? You can cut copper and this is a 40 gauge copper roll. Looks like this when you buy it in the craft store. And it's a really thin copper material that is all rolled up. And this is what's recommended by Cricut for you to cut with your machine. Now, you can cut this with the Cricut Maker or the Cricut Explore Air 2 because it only uses the fine point blade. Now, I've also cut aluminum cans and things like that. So I'm going to do some trials here. I'm going to cut, this is a aluminum roll 38 gauge and it's actually silver on one side, gold on the other. So it's just like a painted aluminum roll. 38 gauge aluminum. So we're going to try that. And then I have a brass roll as well. Now this brass I think is about 38 to 36 gauge but it's not indicated on the packaging. But same type of thing like a thin metal on a roll. So we're going to try to cut all three and see what happens but first let's take a look at what you need to do before you cut so how do you get this material from the roll actually onto the mat and how do you get it off once you cut it so first you're going to need to cut some off of your roll so if you were doing a big project you could definitely cut like a 12 by 12 piece to cut on your machine but i'm just going to do a few small samples so i'm just going to cut a small piece off this roll now I'm using a pair of metal scissors. This will actually cut with regular scissors. I cannot guarantee, however, what it will do to your scissors when you cut it. So um, you might wanna use a pair of scissors that, you, that are either old or specifically for cutting metal. All right, and once you have your piece cut, you can put it down on your mat. So I recommend the blue mat for cutting all types of this thin metal because it's gonna be hard to get it back off once it's cut. So the less stick you have, the better off you're gonna be. And then you just wanna make sure it's flat, straight, and put it down on your mat. Now, to help with this, you can actually use a brayer. So some of the sheets I found especially towards the end of this roll will be extremely curled up and hard to flatten down so you can actually run your brayer across it just to make sure it's completely flat and now we can run this through our Cricut machine and actually you would think that the star wheels that are on the Cricut machine would damage the metal because it's soft like a soft copper material but they will not so you don't even have to move the star wheels or anything pick metal when beside it it says 40 gauge copper and then cut the copper on your machine. Then when you're done cutting, couple different ways to get the material back off. You can flip it over and peel your mat back from the copper. If you don't have success with this, the other way that I've found that's been fairly successful is to kind of use the spatula and get under the material and lift it up that way. So I found both ways successful, which either way works for you and what you're cutting, but you can use whichever way to get your material off the mat. Do not just pull it up from the front of the mat because this material is so thin and delicate that it will kind of roll up on you and it'll ruin your project after it's cut. So do not do that. All right, so how about some results? So this is that 40 gauge copper and I just cut a circle out of it. I have cut more complicated things out of the copper and I'll leave some links for those projects in the description for this video so you can check those out. Then this is the 38 gauge aluminum and I cut it on the copper setting, so the metal setting. There is an aluminum foil setting in Cricut Design Space. I've never had luck cutting aluminum foil or cutting with that setting anything like this. So I would definitely, 38 gauge aluminum, I would cut on the metal or copper setting instead of the aluminum foil setting. And then this is that brass piece. So I think it's around 36, 38 gauge. And I used a couple of different cut settings and didn't have luck either way. So I used the same copper setting and then ran it a couple more passes and it did not cut. And then I've also cut an aluminum can before. So here I've made a succulent out of my aluminum can. And I'll leave a link for the video and 
blog post on this project in the description below as well. And I used the setting that I used for it, which I created a custom setting, and I used it to try to cut the brass, and it would not as it would not cut that either. So for cutting the 36, 38 gauge brass, definitely does not work. So now you might be saying to yourself, what about a thicker copper? So this is actually a 30 gauge copper, where we cut 40 gauge copper, this is a 30 gauge. And while it would etch the copper itself, it will not actually cut it. So just be warned that it will not cut like a thicker copper material. Definitely th stick with the thin metal materials like copper or aluminum. So now you can use your knowledge for cutting metal with your Cricut machine to make some projects like this succulent made out of aluminum can or any one of a wide variety of projects. So I'll drop some links in the description below for some things that I've made using metal. But again, be sure to stick with the thin metals, 40 gauge copper, 38 gauge aluminum work perfectly and make tons of projects. But you could also experiment a little bit with some aluminum cans if you would like, because I've had success cutting those as well. So thank y'all so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about cutting metal with your Cricut machine. And hopefully you can use your newfound knowledge to cut some metal with your machine and make some amazing things. So if you learned something on this video or liked it, please give us a thumbs up. Head on over to our YouTube channel and subscribe because we have videos like this all the time and you don't want to miss any of them. In fact, we have them every week, something about the Cricut machine. Now, if you have any questions or comments about cutting metal with your machine, leave them in the comment section below. I would love to hear from those of you that might have had success cutting aluminum foil on your machine. Tell me what you did because I cannot get aluminum foil to cut for anything and I've tried multiple times. So please leave those suggestions in the comment section below and maybe you might see a future video from me on how to cut aluminum foil with a Cricut. So thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.